someone does you wrong, hurts you, or betrays you, do you want revenge? Do you want the person who caused you pain to suffer too? We enjoy watching revenge movies. We sympathize to the main character or protagonist when justice is sought, even extrajudicially. Examples, The Gladiator starring Russell Crowe, which won Best Picture in 2001. Kill Bill starring Uma Thurman. The Revenant where Leonardo DiCaprio won Best Actor in 2016. Locally, the plot of almost all of FPJ's movies was based on revenge. We have Isang Bala ka lang in 1983, Batas ng 45 in 1991, Sigaw ng Katarungan in 1994. But in real life, is revenge really good? Can we gain any advantage when we take matters into our own hands? Is there an alternative to revenge? Before we proceed, please support this channel by clicking the word subscribe and the bell icon now. After that, kindly click the like button too because this will inspire me to write more materials, record videos, and share them to you for free. Friends, join me as we learn about the intricacies of human nature, particularly man's natural desire to get even. Some of us want revenge because we desire justice. It's human nature. We want retribution, redress, accountability. Revenge is all around us. Look at this billboard installed by a betrayed wife. If you're in her shoes, will you do the same? What about this one? Bitter? Can't move on? Or will you resort to this? Mm, scary, huh? Will you buy this shirt? Do you believe in this statement? Or is this the reason why you can't sleep at night? The truth is, we should not take matters into our own hands. Revenge is not and will never be good for us. Why? For one, revenge will not make us feel better. In fact, it will just make us more bitter. We will feel worse than before. Life is short. Instead of wasting our precious time in focusing our energy on the negative, why don't we just enjoy life? Cheer up, move on, find another. Moreover, revenge could backfire on us. We can even go to jail if our act will constitute a criminal offense. Remember, revenge escalates. Lastly, revenge may lead to eternal damnation. Friends, let us take the higher ground, the narrow road, the straight path. My good friend Confucius once said, before you embark on a journey of revenge, dig two graves. Why two? One for your enemy and the other for you. Therefore, if not revenge, what is the better option? Forgive. Forgiveness simply means choosing to let go of our anger, bitterness, and desire for vengeance. Forgiveness has many benefits. Studies show that the act of forgiveness is good for our health. It lowers the risk of heart attack. It improves sleep. It reduces pain, blood pressure, and levels of anxiety, depression, and stress. 
holding on to anger doesn't hurt the other person, it hurts us. It produces all kinds of stress chemicals that flood our body and make us sick, physically and emotionally. Forgiveness is for us. Remember, refusing to forgive someone is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. There was a sensational criminal case in the 70s concerning Maggie de la Riva. She was then a young, beautiful, 25-year-old actress. On June 26, 1967, she was abducted and raped by four men who were sons of influential families. On February 6, 1971, the Supreme Court on Bank pronounced the accused appellants Jaime Jose, Basilio Pineda Jr. alias Boy, Edgardo Aquino, and Rogelio Canyal guilty of the complex crime of forcible abduction with rape. And each and every one of them was likewise convicted of three counts of rape. Thus, each of them was sentenced to four death penalties. Meanwhile, before the appeal was decided, one of the accused appellants, Rogelio Canyal, died from drug overdose. So, on May 17, 1972, the three remaining convicts were executed by electric chair. Fifty years later, Maggie de la Riva, in a TV interview, said that she had already forgiven her abductors. However, she adds that forgiveness does not mean that the law will not be allowed to take its course. She supports the reimposition of the death penalty. Another less known rape story is that of Joy Mendoza. Her ordeal was worse. Her story is unimaginable. Joy Tanchi Mendoza is the daughter of Dr. Peter Tanchi, the founder and senior pastor of the Christ Commission Fellowship or CCF. On February 7, 1995, while Joy's parents were out on a Bible study, ten men followed her uncle who was then delivering rice inside their house. She thought the robbers were going to kill her. One of them raped her in the bathroom floor. Everything happened at gunpoint and she was later on brought to her room where six other men also raped her. Barely 15 years old, Joy never had a boyfriend. She was a virgin. The difference in Joy's story to that of Maggie's is that the Tanchi family didn't file a case. They choose to forgive. They gave up everything to God. In a TV interview, Joy had this to say. It's like a black hole. All of a sudden, the boy gonna interrupt. So I, I had to really, you know, surrender it to God. Say, Lord, I know that you can still make me pure again. You can still make me whole. And so all of us, I think we had to go through healing in my family to really soul search and to ask God, Lord, what is your reason? But but mo na allow to sa amin, to our family. God is sovereign. Diba? He's, he's in control of everything. And we chose to believe na kahit nangyari ito, mabuti pa rin siyang God. Because mahal niya kami, because sovereign siya, may dahilan kung bakit nangyari ito. Hindi lang accident. Ang decision namin, ang family namin, let's sa uh, We'll even make it a testimony. Yes, we've decided to share our story. Because feeling namin, pag itago lang natin to, how can God also use it for good? And when we made that decision, you know, God really brought healing. We also made decision to forgive. Ano ang balak ninyo? Yung mga polis pumunta sa bahay namin, pinakita yung mga picture na baka ito sila. So, meron ako na identify doon, pero hindi kami nag-press ng charges, hindi kami nag-file ng case. We just said, 
As a family, God will protect us. Si God na lang bahala. Marami salamat. Salamat po. Joy's father and mother, Diona Tanji, who are truly a man and woman of God, were also interviewed. These are their amazing statements. God made our congregation know that their pastor is not invulnerable, that we also sympathize with people who are hurting because of what happened when I talk about forgiveness, when we talk about love, when we talk about God's sovereignty, it is not theory. And we, we are not saying truth without the context of experience. And I think people are looking for authentic believers, authentic models, how to reconcile God's truth with reality. And I realize that of course, there are scars in her life as a result of it. But when the scar is surrendered to God, it becomes, a scar tissue is stronger than regular tissue. So her giving that, that area of her life to God and trusting Him, then enabled God to work. And she's a deep person. She has a blog called, called Teach With Joy. And if anybody goes there to read it, you would see how she's very insightful, uh, what this, this matured her a person who understands spiritual things in a deeper way. The strength, faith, and courage of Maggie and Joy are truly remarkable. They were both set free when they decided to let go. It is hard, if not impossible at times, to forgive. It is human nature to seek revenge to get even, to require justice. We can only forgive by the grace of God. We should ask God to grant us the power to forgive. More than releasing the person who offended us, more than healing ourselves of anger, bitterness, and resentment, we forgive because it is God's command. We forgive because it pleases God. We forgive because it is an act of worship. We should take the higher road. We should enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life. Only a few find it. And there you have them, friends. I hope we will always choose to forgive and be free of anger, vindictiveness, and hate. This is the better option instead of revenge. Was there a time in your life that you struggled to forgive? Is there anyone you need to forgive? It is not a coincidence that you are watching this video. I believe that everything happens for a reason. This is God telling you to forgive. Now, I would love to know your thoughts. So please share your ideas, if any, in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly click like and subscribe to my channel. You may want to click the bell icon too so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos. Please feel free to share this to your friends. This is your Monday Habit Demands World. Thank you. Keep forgiving and Godspeed everyone. When justice is sought, even extrajudicially, we enjoy success. when someone where he won Best Actor in 2016. In fact, it will just make us pronounce the accused appellant's Jaime Jose 
to grant us the power. She was then a young 25 year old. For wide is the road, for wide is the gate and broad is the road, for wide is the road, and we can only forgive if we, but small is the gate. Who were sons of influenza? There was a sensational criminal case, and each and every one of them was likewise. Likewise. On February 7, 1995, while it is very hard to forgive, on June 26, 1967, 19, the strength, faith, and courage of Maggie and May. Her story was unimaginable. 